Hello everyone, this is your resident CCL lover back once again with another floor bell video. So got to mute the floor bell algorithm as fast as possible. And I was actually thinking, what are the possible combos or synergy that you can perform with floor bell with the existing pool of units, right? First thing first, people will think of all the summoners unit. And then growing from that summoners unit perspective, I was thinking, is there a possibility for me to try out all the summon unit together with floor bell to see the effect? And luckily for me, I have a friend who came from a CM server and he uploaded a video which showcases all the zoo units currently in the pool. So we have Barrow summoning the silhouette, we have Cecia summoning the golem, and then we have Damien summoning the cut itself. So this player over here is a really, really massive player by the way. So there will be a massive difference in terms of the damage gauge. But what we can observe from this video itself is what are the different synergies that Florabelle can perform with the existing pool of summoners. And this is what I'll call the Zukong because there's just a lot of summons. Barrel summons, Cecia summons, Florbell summons, Damon summons. So you add in a Torrent as a frontliner tank. This is a, I'll say like one of, if not the most complete Zoo team. It's not the strongest team yet because we are still at the very early stages of testing her out. But right now from what I can observe, right this is the complete zoo package this is the complete zoo comp so based on his team showcase the damage showcase the barrel is probably doing so much damage because it's paragon 4 with a lot of stars so the damage output is really really high so this is uh 27 million right based on the numbers in chinese so we have torrent obviously with the counter kill mechanic Frobel at supreme plus four star cecia at paragon one four star damien at paragon four four star so you guys can see the damage distribution. Cecia doing amazing damage there. Frobel slightly better than Cecia, unfortunately. Not so spectacular. And that is the damage output. So with that, we're going to run through the whole battle to see what are the different mechanics in play and talk about, you know, what are the different things we can expect as we continue to develop the Florabell kit. So let's go. Let me pull on my headset. Okay, let's start the replay. So battle start right okay so the summon comes out you see all the shields that's for bell uh mythic plus ex weapon ability so over here barrel summon a uh, unit right as you guys can see at the bottom right hand side so this summon unit that barrel summon actually gets a shield the shadow behind uh torrent as well as a shadow in front of rainer so this unit actually gets a shoe from Frobel's ex weapon ability which means that this unit benefits from the additional hp boost or the shield boost that Frobel can offer to them so being a very disruptive unit that barrel is the booster hp on the silhouette makes it such that he's even more disruptive and then with so many summons on the field your enemy don't know who to attack right they're throwing their skills all around they're throwing their attacks all around it's a super messy team fight skyta comes down on the enemy's end Okay, but cannot do anything because Barrow is draining all her energy because there's no more allies left. And then, oh, Scalita died without even doing anything. It's so insane. So, uh, Cecil continues to throw out the ultimate. And you guys can see this is the epitome of a zoo. It is a crazy epitome of a zoo because you've got so many units on the battlefield. As you guys can see, Damien's cut providing heal for two frontliners. Then you have Florabelle summon and then you have Cow summon and then you have all the silhouettes running around. Can you imagine the nightmare? when your team is facing against so many units on the battlefield but is this a strong team i i don't think so i think it's quite uh slow against the aoe uh teams that runs around in the later stages of arena runs but we shall see i think this is probably a direction that most of the wheels can develop towards this is the best showcase that i'll say like an end game account can offer because they have some of the strongest unit that can combo with florabelle and this is uh, probably the current zoo team that is uh, viable. Maybe removing Cecilia for somebody who is more offensive or defensive could make the comp a little bit better. So I don't think Mr. Cow is needed, but I do think that if you want to build a meta team around Florabelle, Barrow is a must, right? Damien is good for the synergy. And then you probably need an OD counter because in a late game, everybody has OD maxed out. And he's going to cause a problem if you run a full Wilders team. So Torrent is the best choice. And then for the last unit, I think it's a free and easy. So that's just my suggestion. Just a simple showcase. So if you guys want to see the battle again, I'm just going to replay it from the start to the end. Very, very messy fight because there's a lot of summons. There's a lot of units on the battlefield, right? Damien's cut, Frobel summon, Barrel silhouette. If you don't know what is going on, if you're not experienced in the game, you'll be like, what the hell is going on? Because there's so many things on the field. 
So yeah, every everybody showing their skill. Uh, CC summon come out, but then you got no way to deal with it because it's shielded. It's very tanky, and there's so many units running around. So if your unit doesn't have any AOE capability, what do they do? So that is the power of the Zoo Corp, right? There's just so many things on the board that it's hard to deal with it if your comp is too single target base. Okay, they come to here. Hey, why is my Skaleta not using the ultimate? Because Barrel is not allowing it. So that's the powerful synergy there, which I mentioned multiple times. Okay, so that's the end of the battle. Okay, let's go into the final uh, damage page. Okay, so this is the final damage once again. So, uh, I mean, from a logical perspective, comparing the tiers of the unit, my friend definitely had the advantage. But I'll say this is a good showcase as to what a zoo comp can do or what you can do with Floribel in a zoo comp. Is it the best comp? I think we need more time. But right now, this comp is really interesting and it's quite funny to watch because it's the very first time I see so many things on the board and your enemy not knowing what to attack is quite funny as well. So that's it for this video. Just a really short showcase. Thank you very much, my friend, for uploading this video on Bidi Bidi. I'll link his video up so you guys can see it for yourself. Do remember to support him and thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye, guys.